The health sector is one of the biggest in Zambia's economy. This is because it affects everyone. The young, the old, rich and the poor too are affected. A random survey on the streets of Lusaka reveals not so good personal experiences. But with a new government in place, the Zambian citizens are hopeful that the current darling of the country, Bali, will fix things sooner than later. We need to see an improvement in terms of medicine. There shouldn't be that saying, yeah, no, you don't have this, you don't have that, go and buy. You are just given there and then. Lives will be saved. According to my experience, because uh, that was the time I went to the hospital, and I was just given, there was this, yeah, I was told you can buy this medicine. So in case I didn't have money, so, so obviously I was going to face challenges. So we're expecting the, the new government to work on that, yeah, on, on those angles. So at, at least, because the hospitals are not just for rich guys. Yeah, you see, it can be pathetic, you know, uh, of late, towards the elections, I would say three, four months towards elections, things have, have, have become worse. You go in the hospital, there are no drugs, they can't even give you a prescription. I spoke to the Pharmaceutical Society of Zambia President Kennedy Saini. He has called on government to allow the Zambia Medicines and Medical Supplies Agency, ZAMSA, be charged with the responsibility to procure medicines in the country. The most important issue to realize is that um, procurement of medicines, even like WHO has emphasized, is a professional business. So if uh, we, are not, we are getting it wrong at that level, it becomes very difficult to correct it. So the biggest issue has been uh, the tendering process has never been done in a transparent manner. Now that scares away uh, quality companies that also compromises you know the the, the 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 quality of the products so what we would like to see is that uh, the professionals who are trained you know both pharmaceutically trained professionals who are in this case the pharmacists are at the helm of this so if for example procurement is moved to medical stores uh, as, as 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 what as what the law provides now you realize that uh, we have a competent team there of course not only pharmacists we have other professionals uh, who uh, also uh, take part in the procurement uh, business. But it, it means that these professionals will do due diligence, they will do proper technical evaluation, and then the nation will receive only quality and efficacious products. Until these proposals are met, the public awaits anxiously for better health care services for all. Lufola Nkawani, ZNBC News, in Lusaka. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe.